Well, a visitor to Cleveland this weekend is on a cross-country baseball tour, but there's a twist to his take me out to the ball game travels. News Channel 5's Tom Livingston has his story. I'm rounding second, headed towards third. Using a baseball metaphor seems fitting as Darren O'Donnell visits Progressive Field, part of his odyssey to visit all 30 major league ballparks. His route so far sounds like a travel agent's nightmare. Seattle, Oakland, San Francisco, LA, LA, San Diego, Phoenix, Denver, Arlington, Houston, Tampa, Miami, Atlanta, Cincinnati, and now Cleveland. Now, people doing this kind of trip is nothing new, but it's how Darren's doing it that sets him apart. He's riding a bike. He rode from his home outside of Seattle to the Mariners' opener on April 8th and has been on the road since. Of what I know, I'm only the third person to do it by bicycle, and I was shocked to learn that two people had done it before. Cleveland is his 15th city with 15 to go. He puts a sticker on his bike as he visits each ballpark. His bike stayed safe in the tribe's offices while he watched the game. Riding about 100 miles a day, the bike is holding up well considering the distance he's already traveled. My guess is it's going to be closer to 12,000 miles when it's all said and done. I've got about 7,000 done right now. The 24-year-old saved up his money and quit his job to do this ride. His girlfriend is supportive, but some of his friends were skeptical. But with each stop and each picture he posts, they've changed their tune. The next stop on his baseball biking tour is Pittsburgh. His last stop will be St. Louis on September 25th. Uh, I haven't figured out what I'm going to do when it's all done. Uh, I don't really want to ride my bike across the Rocky Mountains in October, but, you know, we'll see what happens. But heading for home, he'll have seen the country, made new friends, and seen all the major league parks. Priceless. Tom Livingston, News Channel 5. Now you can follow Darren's trek online. Go to our website, newsnet5.com, for his Twitter and Facebook accounts.